Hey there, I am back with another deck of you, and today we're going to be looking at the Stained Glass Behemoth playing cards from Collectible Playing Cards and Bicycle. Uh, this deck is the fourth in the Stained Glass series from Collectible Playing Cards. It started with the original Stained Glass, and then Phoenix, and Leviathan, and now this one, Behemoth. This is their newest one. So, let's jump right into it and take a look. Well, a Behemoth is just a large scary intimidating creature i was first mentioned in the book of job uh from the bible and scholars kind of think that maybe they were referring to like elephants or hippo some some large animal like that not really sure but it's kind of come to mean any large and intimidating powerful creature uh the tuck for this one is kind of a standard bicycle retail stock to it just that glossy finish regular tuck case no embossing or foiling or anything but it just says on the front here, Bicycle, Trusted Since 1885, and then Stained Glass Behemoth Playing Cards. Uh, it is mostly black, but then the front design here has a bunch of stained glass designs. So you have this sort of faded stained glass imagery going on in the back. And then you have this spade with a horned behemoth there on it, uh, kind of in sharper relief on the front. Uh, I like the greens and purples, kind of a earthy, almost floral color scheme that's done to it. Kind of hard to tell, but this is, yeah, just a really pale green that most of this is done in. I like the color scheme, really good uh, good match as you go through, like how that looks. So there is the front of the tuck case. On the sides, you have just a continuation of more of that stained glass design. It says air cushion finish on one side and the United States Playing Card Company on the other. Bottom has your ad copy for USPCC as well as collectibleplayingcards.com. And then on the top, you have a little bit more stained glass. The back here is gonna be the back design of the cards that we'll take a look at in a second. And then you have a custom postage stamp seal here covered in those shards of colored glass and then the behemoth there in the center. So a pretty cool tuck case, a lot of color going on uh, as you would expect with a stained glass theme. As you open up, just a little bit more ad copy there on the inside and then plain black on the flaps. And then nothing printed on the inside. So that is the deck, or the uh, tuck case. Let's take a look at the backs of the cards. So here you go. It is a black card, which is a mixed bag, right out of the tuck case. I think these look really nice. These black edges have a tendency to kind of chip a little bit and kind of show some of the white cardboard underneath, but nothing can be done for it. Now the design on the back is obviously stained glass. You have a circular stained glass pattern here in the middle and then just the shards of stained glass coming out to form this hulking behemoth that you kind of see arched over here. So like here's the two arms and the head with the horns right here. Kind of arching over there and then more stained glass and purples and blues and greens in the background. I really like how they created the two-way back design here. There's no kind of distinct line. It's, it's kind of reaching over on each side to make this very cool symmetrical design here. Really well designed, like what was done with the behemoth there. Really like those card backs. So there is that. Let's take a look at the extra cards that you get. So there's gonna be a couple of jokers. Here's your two jokers, kind of a reddish pinkish and a green. Uh, both those colors are really, really pale. So this is a really pale pink and kind of a paler green color. And both of them are formed up of a fairly classic looking joker face there from bicycle cards. Uh, but obviously done up with just stained glass detailing all the way around. So one of them has kind of a greens and pink, almost peach colored hue here, and then another one has a green and then a paler green color on his clothes with that circular pattern there in the center again. So there's your two jokers. And then you also get an ad card for collectibleplaincards.com and a double backer. There's the extra cards, let's look at the rest of the deck. It is a full custom deck, always nice. So here's your ace of spades. So the black cards are gonna be done up in that pale pink color. Uh, and then you have a stained glass window, very prominent and large, fading out to the edges and fading out to the black there. Uh, but the center of the stained glass window is that spade pit with the horned behemoth there in the center. Very cool design, like what was done there. And then, the indices in the corner, so the, the index is going to be fairly standard font. And then you've got the 
pip up there, which is done up in those shards of glass again. So pretty cool design. Like the use of the pinks there. I think it works really, really well for these black cards. As you go through the number of cards, they're all going to be standard, but they're going to have this same circular design with these squares of glass forming the back. And then again, that fading out to the black. And then the pips in the center are going to be formed out of glass, out of stained glass. So as you flip through, you'll see all those the same. Same kind of style. But pretty standard uh, uh, placement of the pips themselves. And then here are your court cards. So they're going to be very, very familiar designs. But they've got that stained glass background, of course. Stained glass pips. And then they're recolored to be in these sort of red or pinks, greens, and almost a yellow color. Those greens almost go into a yellow. They're more of a pale green. So there are your three spade court cards. And as you continue through now the diamonds, so the red cards are going to be done up in, or traditionally red cards are going to be done up in those greens and almost yellows there. So that pale green up here for the index, and then that pale green plus a little bit of a darker green there, forming up the stained glass for the pips in the center. So there are the diamonds. And then there are your court cards for diamonds. Very, very similar color scheme to what we looked at with the spades. There's the clubs. Now these side by side so you can see they're pretty much the same color scheme between them. Between the, uh, the red cards and the black cards. And then flipping through the clubs themselves. You can see those. There's your ace. Get a good close up of that. And then through the hearts. I like that they kind of reversed what you might have expected. So if you heard that some of the pips were reddish, pinkish, you would have guessed that would be the diamonds and the hearts, but I like that they kind of reversed it. It gives it a little bit of an interesting feel to it. And then down through all of the hearts here. And there's your eight of hearts. Uh, as far as handling, it's gonna handle like pretty much any bicycle deck that you pick up out of the box. They're gonna fan really well. You get that, that bit of color that comes through here. Uh, not surprising with the stained glass theme that they're going to look pretty good in fans. Uh, it's a little bit of a thicker back, so you need probably a little bit of a wider fan to really have that color start to show through. Uh, but the handle fan cut really, really well. Nice deck of cards. Uh, very interesting. I like the theme. I like the color that was done on it. Uh, and excited to see how many more of these stained glass ones that they produce. I think it's a pretty cool line. And after getting this one, I think I want to go back and pick up a few of the other ones. This is actually the first from the stained glass line that I personally picked up. But this makes me want to go check out some of the other ones. Uh, it is one that would be absolutely great for gameplay. I think those really easy to read indices in the corner make it work just fine for gameplay. Uh, work decently well for magic. It's definitely a little bit colorful and showy for traditional magic tricks, but you could definitely use this for magic. And then for cardistry, I mean, look, they handle well. Uh, they've got a really, really colorful design that I think would look great if you're using that in cardistry. So really an all-around very easy to use and, and handy deck to use for a lot of different purposes. So hope you enjoyed that. That is the review of the Stained Glass Behemoth cards from CollectiblePlaneCards.com. Let me know if there's other decks you want to see. Subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings, things like that. And I will see you for the next one.